if you trust me. Amen. And if something was to happen, trust me. I got you. I'll take care of you. That's my job. Stop doing the Lord's job. His job is to take care of us. We do our part and let the Lord do his. That's what we're here for. Line ourselves up with the word of God and let the Lord do the rest. He will take care of us. Ain't no need to worry about it. Ain't no need at all. Then it goes to say, what would, don't worry about life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. <coughs> what we worried about that for? We worried about stuff we ain't got no business worrying about. Yeah, that's right. We ain't got to worry about, yeah, food is going up, but you know what? You go to that store, Lord, I thank you, because I know that you will provide. I know that you will make a way. I'm trusting you. Lord, you said I ain't got to worry about, so I ain't worried about these prices. You will give me just what I need, what my family needs. I'm not worried about the prices. They can go up, they can go up, but Lord, I trust you. You said it in your word. We got to rely and depend on the word of God. He said it. He says it. He says it. And it's, you know, if he read, that means he's talking to me. He said, don't you worry about what you eat. Don't worry about what you drink. Don't even worry about what you wear. He got us. He will take care. Just say, he'll take care of me. He's taking care of me. No matter what the world is doing. No matter what it looks like. He will take care of me. And then he goes on to tell us, if not life more than food and the body more than clothes, and he says, look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, they do not reap, they do not store away. We can, it's okay to store away. You know, he's not telling us not to, but we ain't got to worry about it. You know, the birds, don't, they don't worry. They don't worry about nothing. The birds don't worry about one thing. Nothing at all. They ain't got no big born to put nothing in. They ain't worrying about it. They ain't worrying about nothing at all. They And so we got to get like that and just trust the Lord. He's not telling us, you know, not to work. He's not telling us to sit home and do nothing. He's just telling us life. Our life is so much more important than the things that we're worried about. He already tells us he's the bread of life anyway. So he's all that we need. He's all that we need. We got to Remember to just put our focus on the things of God. Love, joy, peace. We got to have all that. We got to have all that. Them birds, they don't worry about nothing. And if you if you think about it, the Lord take care of the birds. And he says in that scripture, he lets us know we are so much more important. If you think about it, if you got an animal at home, and you got children. You're not going to give your children dog food if you got a dog and give your dog sick. You know? You're just not going to do that. So he says we're more and more important and more valuable than a bird. So if he take care of them, he's definitely going to take care of us. I was at work this week I for you. You know I created it as well. But I died for you. I died for you. He said, so don't worry. Don't worry. He said, I got you. I will take care of you. No matter what comes. I'm here to tell y'all, no matter what comes your way, no matter if you get knocked down, if you get the breath knocked up out of you, stand. Amen. Knowing, knowing that the Lord would take care of you. We can't worry about it because he is going to take care of us. We must always trust the Lord that he will provide every need for us. Every need, every need, every need. He's going to take care of us. He even, like he even says, he dresses the lilies. And you know how beautiful flowers are? You know, and they don't even worry. They don't even worry about it. They just bloom. And like people always say, you know, you don't worry about it. it's not 
a competition to the next flower, they just bloom. Beauty. Beauty. Yes, the Lord. He clothed the lilies. They don't have to do nothing. He dresses them, he says, with great beauty. And we are much more valuable than that. So he dresses us with great beauty. God, God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He designed the flower exactly how he wants it to be. And he designed us exactly how he wants it. He created us from him. We are an image of him. So that means we're more valuable. We're more important. Yes, God. And then in, in 29, he begins to talk about how Solomon was cold. Solomon was cold in the finest. Gold, silver, with the finest. With the finest. But he says the lilies. He ain't got nothing on the lilies. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, he had the best of the best. But he ain't got nothing on the lilies. Now that's an awesome God. We don't even have to worry about nothing. The Lord did his thing with them lilies and he said, I don't even care. I don't even care. You know, I blessed him, but hey, these lilies, he ain't got nothing on them. He could come flashing with gold, silver everywhere. He still ain't got nothing. Nothing on the lilies. Yes, indeed. The Lord will take care of you. He will take care of us. Yeah. There's a deposit. Yeah. You need 
take it to the car lot. I need to go to the car lot. Take yours. I need to go to the car lot. There's a deposit being made. All you got to do is activate that faith. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. I need to go. Yes, I do. Glory to God. Mm, mm. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> 